hand testings or all the angel learnings, the great companies that we've seen, uh, seen built here. And I know there's lots more of them to be had. And uh, I'll bet you that a couple of people in this room uh, are going to make that happen here in Indy. And this is the kind of place where it starts. So it's exciting for me to, uh, to be here and, and to see, uh, see, the energy, uh, see the energy in this room. The reality of early stage investing is pretty tough in Indy, you know, right this, uh, right this very minute. For most of the people that come to me and ask me about it, really the answer is, you know, get your business going with friends and family and fool kind of money to get it off the ground and get it uh, launched. The idea that somebody's going to take a concept or an idea and take it to a, to a group like Halo or a group or a professional money like a venture capitalist like Allos, the idea that you're going to get that done from kind of nowhere to there is a lot of wasted, a lot of wasted time and energy. Uh, the uh, time and energy that can be spent really on trying to go out and attract new customers. So people come to me all the time saying, Mark, I've proven this out. I know the technology works. And that's really not what you're trying to prove out is the technology. Any, any, I'm not saying anybody can make the technology work, but almost anybody can make the technology work. The idea is, will somebody actually buy it? So people say, well, yeah, I talked to 10 people, and they all said they buy it. As soon as I get it, I just need the funding to build it. It's like, no. People will say all the time, you buy it? Well, sh sure, I'll, I'll buy it. There is no commitment in that. So it really is a matter of saying, how can I get real dollars for real value? And how can I get over that line to start get a rhythm of customers buying it to prove out to somebody that you really deserve to get, really deserve to get money? Uh, it's, it's kind of like this, uh, it's this Darwin thing, right? So it's, part of the argument is, well, how do I ever get there if I don't have the money to get there? How do, I, how do I build a product, build a company, sell a customer? How do I get that started if I don't have the money to get there? Well, if there was an easy answer to that question, everybody would do it, right? It's this, it's, it's, it's this Darwin of trying only the best are going to get through it and survive it. So you know, figuring out how to do that and get your costs all the way down um, is, uh, is really important. I mean, for me, in my own personal story, uh, we, my wife and I started our business in 83. After seven years, after seven years in business, we had five people. I mean, it took a long time. There's a lot of perseverance in getting a business, uh, getting a business off the ground. And the good news about doing it early when you're, uh, when you're younger and you have kind of less to lose and you can learn without losing a lot of money, uh, I, I learned a lot of lessons before I had a lot of money to lose, and it was, uh, you know, it's really, really pretty, uh, pretty fortunate uh, for us. And our business never, we never really had that spike. We grew it um, from uh, so in '90 we had five people, in 2000 we probably had 110 people, and we sold it in 2005 we had 200 people. So it was, it was a pretty steady. It's a pretty steady ride for us, and there's a lot to be, uh, a lot to be said for that. I didn't, uh, we didn't, we, we raised fifty thousand dollars from friends and family and, and fools. Uh, although it, it, the back end, it did end up, uh, it did end up working out for them. But for a while there, their stock certificates were worth, you know, put it on the wall and some wallpaper. That was about, uh, that was about it. Well, I'm probably in about 15 companies uh, in town. So Blue Lock is one, which is a data set that's going extraordinarily well. Um, uh, Cantaloupe is a video company that's doing, you know, it's doing okay. The, it was going like this, and then the economy came and it really flattened us out. So we're still still hanging in there. But uh, and then Achievement is an HR uh, software as a service business. It's, it's you know, again, it's perseverance. It's hanging on. Um, and then invested uh, in a number of other companies from uh, Primo, Compendium, Exact Target. Those companies are all all seem to be doing uh, doing reasonably well. Uh, Weblink and BitPal are a couple of investments that came through uh, Halo. Weblink is a they serve Chamber of Commerce, a software and service business. BitPal is a pretty interesting business. You use uh, you use a device like this when you go to a, a 
charity auction. You can actually bid on items at the charity auction. And they, they got a very good value proposition. They can uh, drive up the amount rate of money raised by 20, 30, 40 percent. And they, they pretty much documented that. So it's a really, really clear and easy value proposition. Um, invested in a company, they all don't go well, right? So uh, uh, invested in a company, uh, Oxygen Education, that uh, recently shut its door, so write that one off. Uh, invested in a company uh, that was in life science called Semaphore, write that one off. Then you have some good like pen, pen testing, that was a really good one. Angel Learning, that was a really good one. So it's, uh, uh, it's tough times right now, right? I would say, Generally, it's not as fun as it was three years ago. Uh, it's it's harder market. People aren't as interested. Although I do feel like things are opening up some. People weren't as interested in buying things that were new, unless it was a very very clear value proposition, primarily around cost savings, which is where Blue Lock has some success. You hear this a lot, but it's really true. It's the management team. It's the team of people. And is there somebody there that can, in fact, lead a team? Uh, more important than any other thing. So uh, first, first is the team, the right team. Doesn't mean have they done it before necessarily. It's just, you know, it's just a sense of uh, are they the right team. So I've been through enough of them that I can pretty much uh, have at least a sense of if it's the right team or not. And then it's that, it's that uh, have they proven that they, there is a market for something? And then the next question is really how big is the market, right? So if I'm selling, you know, something that has a very, very narrow market, it's not as interesting to invest in because what can happen is a company can become uh, uh, more of a lifestyle business. So, so I think lifestyle businesses are great. I had a lifestyle business for a long time. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a good, bad thing, right? So a lot of people want to say lifestyle business bad. I, I don't look at it that way. Lifestyle business is, is awesome, um, but it's not something that I want to invest in, right? So I'm not going to take my dollars and invest so you can have a great lifestyle business, right? That's, that's, that's not what I'm interested in. So um, uh, those, are the, those are the main things. Kind of the big picture area that I'm interested in is obviously infrastructure as a service or cloud kinds of things. The cloud is so generic anymore, right? So it's Anybody says cloud, right? Even VMware, who sells software to big enterprises, they call the enterprise services that are inside the company in, uh, a private cloud, right? Well, it has nothing to do with the internet. It's, it's private cloud. It's just something you're running on your own infrastructure, right? So everybody's grabbing the word cloud. Uh, but the idea about outsourcing stuff and, and doing business processes moving businesses processes that uh, out of the business make, make good sense to me. Uh, obviously with Blue Lock I'm interested in infrastructure as a service. I think 10 years from now nobody's going to buy servers. I should say no. So 80% so of servers in 10 years will not be purchased, they'll be provisioned. So Amazon is a good example of it and it's the same market that Blue Lock is. Just call more of a driven kind of atmosphere in terms of direct results, more, you know, now kind of thing, and probably less tolerance for uh, people that aren't performing. Uh, there's just just kind of an expectation there. And so if you go and you're working at a company like that, you just have to have the right kind of perspective on it. I, I mean, it's just it's an atmosphere that I love. I mean, it's what I, I really enjoy, uh, really enjoy uh, but it is, it is different. And for those of you that have aspirations of building a company of your own, I would highly recommend that you work for a company like that. I mean, it's very, very good to see it firsthand. Uh, the Core Fellowship is an example of trying to get people into companies like that. I think it's a great experience.